Hello everybody, about a month ago I made a special tier list, it was supposed to be a one-off, of, it was called the Animal Combat Tier List, where I take some of the most powerful, popular animals and put them into a pound-for-pound -pound tier list of the ones that I believe are either grossly overrated to the true kings of the jungle. And one thing that I did in that video that a lot of you guys, uh, we're, we're, we're trying, we're dunking on me in the comments for, is I said that I would be, I think I would be able to beat a kangaroo in a 1v1 deathmatch. And a lot of you rightfully called me delusional. But if you think that is the peak of my delusionalness, you are sorely mistaken. In this video, I am not going to be ranking them for pound for pound best fighters. No, no, no. This is going to be a tier list of if I had to fight this animal, this is where they would go. Everything from I'd be too scared to even fight him to I would paint the walls in their blood, that is going to encompass some of the most popular animals in the animal kingdom. And with that out of the way, I let's just straight get into this. The first animal that we're going to be covering is the lobster, okay. I don't even think I need to dignify this one, okay. I am painting the walls, okay. I'm going to make myself a good meal after killing this lobster. Let, let me tell you this, whenever I would like go to Meyer, I when you would see like a see those lobsters in like the the tanks, right? I never thought that they were a pet. I just I always thought it was like a weird thing. Like like on one side of the like on Meyer, they would sell fists and then on the other side they're also selling like a mollusk or whatever the hell a lobster is, a crustacean. But just for a completely different purpose. And I grew to love lobster. Not the animal, no, no, I think lobsters are actually, like, I, I really d dislike crustaceans. That's gonna go for crabs as well. I'm, yeah, no, I don't even think I need to elaborate. If you think I would lose to a lobster, you are a hater. If you would lose to a lobster, you have failed your bloodline. Next up, the zebra. Listen. Do you know that zebras is the animal that hurts zookeepers more than any other animal? You could look that up, that's a real statistic. It's something crazy, like 65% of all injuries that occur at a zoo to zookeepers, they are all from zebras. They are mean, okay? And they could probably kill me. However, it would be close one, but I would lose. I, I will accept myself here. I think I'd be, I might be able to, I actually, I might move it down. I think I'll be able to get a few hits in. Because if, if we're going hand to hand, then yeah, no, no, I got to accept my fate. I think I'd be able to get a few good hits in. Maybe I can, yeah, no, I can't really heal hook a zebra. It can't do that. Maybe if I can get to... No, I can't get on its back. Yeah, no, I'd get fucked up by a zebra. I, I would I would go out fighting, though. It would not tear me to shreds. It would probably, like, knock me unconscious and then just stomp me out. However, I think I'd be able to hurt a zebra. But I think it'd just be... They look like they're a biter. Zebras look like they bite things, man. And I just dislike them. Like, ever, like Madagascar, I was never a... F Madagascar might be the zebra propaganda. Like, the... Marty was the coolest person in that movie, only to find out that in real life, zebras are just dicks. Yeah, no, I, I don't li I have no respect for zebras. I hope you get eaten by lions. I'm gonna put you down there. A mouse. Again. Dog. I, I, dead. Okay? They're annoying. They're a little pest animal. I understand that they can be cute, but you don't know your place. So, but I, I'm winning this fight, okay? There, there's just no debate here. Next up, the white-tailed deer. They'd get a few hits in. I'm winning this one, though, okay? Like, I've thought about this one quite a bit, okay? My gym has had full-on fight breakdowns of how we would win against a white-tailed deer with helmets and without. I'm telling you this right now. If it doesn't have, if it does not have antlers, if I'm fighting a doe or a young buck guillotines dude i'm getting i'm getting a headlock taking the back off of there i might be able to since in a rear naked show go bryce missile on his ass i don't know if i'm jumping out of a tree stand and then hopping on its back because to me that's high risk high reward i don't know if i'm gonna be able to sneak up i don't think i can sneak up on it but if it's like a bloodlusted deer and it's coming at me and it's trying to ram me maybe i'll get a few cuts in but I, like, I don't think, it, I think it's going to miss the vital stuff. I think worst case scenario, it punctures my stomach. It's able to like get a little piece out of my intestines, okay? But by then, the the ancestor 
DNA, the ancestor stuff is gonna come in here. And 100% there was somebody in my bloodline that had to kill a deer with his bare hands. And one, I think I, I think I can do it. I've thought about this before. You can 100% Kimura a deer. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna have to heel hook it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to arm bar it. Dude, give me one of those legs. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna make that sound like a water bottle. I'm gonna crack that thing. Broom, cripple it. Hop on its back. Since in the rear, naked choke. 12 seconds in, unconscious. Finish the job. Yeah, I got that one. I got that one. Iguana. Iguanas look mean, dude. I don't think... I think at most he's probably gonna bite me. I think an iguana's gonna put up the most fight out of these guys, though. So I guess he's, like, barely gets out of this tier. Because I think he would bite me a few times. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna grab onto his tail. And I'm going to make it look like how Hulk did Loki in the 2012 Avengers movie, dude. I'm going to be pounding the ground with that lizard. Other than that, pretty easily. Next up, we're gonna have our first aquatic animal. The squid. <sighs> What, what do I gotta say here? Like, I think a squid, a squid might, a squid might be able to puncture me, okay? Like, if we're going underwater, okay, I think it gets, like, one good hit in. It's gonna bite me, its beak is gonna get into my quad, it's gonna hurt. I, I, how about this? I'm gonna put it very low. I'm gonna put it low, okay? Actually, wait. I'm gonna put it at the top because this would make it goes harder as we go down. I'm gonna put the squid up there. I think it'd be able to hurt me, but at the same time, bro, get it off. <laughs> Done. Yeah, no, no. Other than that, like, really, is the squid really gonna do you in? If that's a giant squid, obviously, yeah, no, it's gonna it's gonna beat me up, dude. I'm I'm done. Okay, I, I'm scared of water for a reason. But if we're going in like sallow water, little squid, mm mm, done, bro. I'm gonna have some good sushi afterwards though. Grizzly bear. Dog, it doesn't matter how many Red Bulls, how many Black Rifle coffee, you, how much you give me of that. 300 milligrams of caffeine, Mongolian throat singing, the hype me up in the car ride over there. I am not fighting a fucking grizzly. Okay? You could declaw that thing, you could put a muzzle on it. I am not playing that game. However, let me say this, I'm not saying that I wouldn't fight a bear, I'm just not fighting the king of the bears. And before you bring up polar bears, a polar bear is only fighting with its own people and some seals. And that's another animal on this tier list. I'm not going to be messing with them. A grizzly bear is probably the most dangerous. Why? Because they run a fade with everything. They don't even bother killing anything. They'll eat them alive. And if they die, they die. Yeah, no, I'm not running a fade with a grizzly bear because I think he would get lazy halfway through and then just lay on top of me like a super heavyweight in side control and then just start gorging on my organs. I'm not playing that game. Hippo. Okay. Don't take this the wrong way. I'm actually going to put... I'm going to put the grizzly bear at the top of here because I think a hippo would kill me relatively quickly. Yeah, no, I think it would, like, bite me, drag me down underwater go a little and then I'm, I'm done bro i think it would sake me it would snap my neck worst case scenario i'm still conscious underwater and i'm just being like gorged on the my while i lose my life but at the same time a grizzly bear is just gonna eat you while you're still alive dog when lewis and clark okay like this is american history for you when lewis and clark made their expedition out west they actually believed that the native americans were right when they said there were demons in the woods I've already said this story, but for anybody who hasn't heard it, there is journals being written over how to hunt the wildlife in America and how they describe grizzly bears. Bullets do not hurt them. If you are encountered by them, pray. Fuck that. I'm not doing that. Turtle. It's not close. It's not close. It would hurt me. What kind of animal that gets done in by a plastic straw? Is gonna take me out. Dog, I'm just gonna finish an eight pack of Pepsi. And that's gonna do you in. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, no. T sorry, Turtle. We, ha we had to switch to paper straws for your survival. Yeah, don't be talking to me like that. Tiger. Quick. It'd be quick. Here's the thing. I don't understand. Would I be too scared to fight a tiger? I'm too scared to fight any of these. 
I ain't, I'm not running a fade with any of these, man. Like, there, there's animals that I you could get me hyped into a death match. None of these. It doesn't matter what state of consciousness I'm in. I'm not doing that. Don't even pay attention to... Like, I'm not fighting any of these. It doesn't even matter. A wolf. It'd be close. Wait. Nah, it's 50-50. I would say it's a 50. Is it a 50-50, though? Dude, I might be able to win. I might be able to go Liam Neeson on him, okay? That movie hyped me up so much as a kid. But it, you, it's one of those movies that it's so good until you rewatch it again. And then you realize it's Liam Neeson getting hyped up to, to go into a boxing match with a wolf, okay? So it kind of loses its appeal. However, it did hype me up to fighting a wolf. They're pretty big. I'm not exactly sure on the wolf species, okay? I'm not tier zoo over here. This is a crossover event. I'm probably going to lose. I might... I don't know. If I, I might be able to... I'm just going to go for my jugular. Is it a, If it's a 1v1... You know what? Fine. I'm going to stick to my delusional mind, okay? I'm 50-50 on this. I'm going to go to 50-50% chance I'll lose, okay? Parrot. It's not close. It's not close. I'm sorry. It, it'd go for my eyes. But at the same time... Yeah, no. I'm not, Yeah, no. I Like, if I break one of your wings, you're done, buddy. Like, do you have any idea how fragile birds are? They, Bro, bones are hollow. Like, and that's if... Worst case scenario. He's gonna come up. He's gonna, like, claw my eyes out. Okay, maybe... I think he would get a few good hits in. He did a good. He would get a few good hits in. He would do better than the squid. Better than the squid. The turtle would do better than the squid. He almost goes here, but no, I'm gonna put him up there. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm grabbing the legs of this pair, and I'm just. I just gotta break one of its wings, and I'm done, bro. And I've always kind of wondered what a parrot would taste like. Like, I'm not. I'm not doing it. But we've all had those morbid curiosities of like, I wonder what you taste like to like a parrot. I, I, like, just a little bit. Komodo dragon. I, dude, I'm getting torn to fucking shreds. Nah. The thing is, is there is a world where you could get me hyped enough to fight a Komodo dragon. It would have to depend on the size of the Komodo, the threat of the Komodo, what type of weapons I have at my disposal. If I'm rocking like a, like a spear, I might be able to get it done. But then again, dog, it's venom makes it so... It's not just venom that makes it so your blood can't clot and you'll slowly bleed out to death. But the bacteria in their mouth is so terrible that you might just die before then of infection. And their noises that... Dude, the noises these fuckers make is terrifying. However, 600 milligrams of black rifle coffee. Mongolian throat singing on the drive over there. And some smelling salts. I'm going at it. Lion. I'm too made too scared to fight it, dude. They're so they're they're so scary. Like, can we agree? I think I this one, no matter how crazy you think I am, th this is me. I'm not fighting any of these. I might be able to fight one of these. On a bad day, I will fight one of these. Yeah, wolf, probably. Eagle. Would it be a close one? Again, dude. Okay, here's... They're so fucking big, though. But you were nearly done in by Roundup. Like, I'm not kidding. We nearly killed all of our bald eagles because we didn't realize that the runoff from um, pesticides that we would use for, like, to cultivate, like, our crops would run into the water and it would... The fish would get infected by it and we nearly killed all of our eagles because it infected them later on. However, I don't have pesticides. I think 50-50, honestly, dude. They're so scary. The talons are terrifying. I break a wing, though. Give me a stick. I might be able to get it done. Rhino. Again, dude. It, it's nature's tank. I'm not playing that game, man. Like, there's no weapon you could give me that I would fight it. I End, end of discussing. Little birdie. Pathetic. Like, they're not even worth eating. Like, let's hold them up in the air and go, done. Yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna keep going. Panda. I might be able to beat a panda. 
It would be a close one, but if when. That's going to bother me. Okay. There we go. I think I'd win. Would I? I don't know. Every time I look at a panda, they are the least threatening, and I'm just going to say it, borderline disappointing animal I've ever seen. Do you know why they're going extinct? Why do you think it is? Do, do you... I, are you going to go off what like you were taught in school and it's because they only eat bamboo, they don't like eating meat, and that's the reason why? No, because the males don't like mating. They are the soy boys of the bears. They're, they might do me in, but I like to think that I have a pretty good shot. I don't know how I would do it, though. Like, this would take some planning. Like, I would have to scope them out, look at some tape. But I, th I think I might I might be able to get it done. It would be something I'd need to think about for a minute. Ferret. Ah, they're so weird, dude. My brother looks kind of like a ferret. Just like, long, little, skinny, strangleable neck. Like, this weird, squinty eye looking like me. Yeah, no, no. I'm gonna put him... I think he would... Nah. They're stu They're so cute, though. Like, they are kind of cute, but they're just weird animals. They're they're like slinky mice, man. I'll put them up there. I think, I yeah. Gorilla. Dude. <laughs> I ain't fighting a fucking gorilla. There is no amount of hyping me up that you could do. I ain't fighting any primates. Let me just let that be known. Because primates, I feel like, because they're similar enough to people, they know how much damage they can do to you before they would kill you. So I'm not fighting any primates on this list. Same goes for the, uh, whatever, the orangutan. Is this an orangutan? I'm not saying it's an orangutan. Fuck that. I ain't winning that. I'm not going to win. Next up. That might have been a deer. I did add a few of these, but the head got cut off. So I'm going to say that's an alpaca. I would beat an alpaca. Dude. It, I would take down an alpaca the same way that I said that I would take down a doe. If it lowers its head even slightly. And I think... Unless it's just going to ram me with, like, that chest of his. In that case, I can use that. Use his neck as almost like an arm drag. And then I'm going to throw my back leg over it, almost into, like, a mount. And then I'm going to sink in that rear naked choke. What's it going to do? It's going to go to its back. I'm going to sense up a body triangle. They look pretty wide-bodied. Or I'm going to put my boots in. And then I'm just going to finish that off, almost like, like Charles Oliveira did, like, Dustin. I don't know. Again, you could Kimura the legs. I'm not going to say who, but I had a buddy. I had a buddy talk to me like after a practice, after we were having this discussion, man. And I shit you not, he comes up to me and is like, I just got done with it. I um guess what I did this weekend. I was like, "Oh, you, you got you got a you got a buck?" He was like, "You can Kimura a deer." What? Yes, no, no, no. You can snap that shit. They got frazzled joints, dude. I've never personally tried it. But I like to think I have a better Kimura than he does. So I think I'd be able to do it. And I think alpacas have kind of the similar bone structure in their legs. If I can take down one of its legs, it's done. It's done. You're cooked. Next up, a Sark. It would tear me. Water scares me, dude. Call me whatever you want. Water does legitimately kind of scare me. The only reason that I'd be able to do a turtle is they get done in by fucking seagulls when they're babies. And they have to come up to the beeps and they look like they make dumb noises, but they're just mute all the time. And fucking straws did have been. So I'm going to say I'm going to be too scared to fight a Sark. Yeah, no. Like, what are you going to do to a Sark? Okay, I will say this, though. Killing a Sark? Probably not. Warding off a Sark? You just do the old, like... It sounds like, like advice you would get from Brennan Saab, but from what I understand, there's a large amount of people that if you just bop them in the nose, they get so weirded out by that, that an animal's fighting back, that they just dip, because they're like, what the fuck? What is it? Why is he hitting me? Like, they get offended, and they just, like, swim away. I don't know if that's true. That might be just some, like, stuff on the internet, but I'm not gonna be fighting a Sark. Elephant. Dog, they rape rhinos. Why would I... No. Dude, they will gourd a rhino. I'm not playing that game. How, how am I beating Dumbo over here? A snake. I don't know. It depends on the snake, honestly. Pythons can get pretty big, but I've killed my fair share of snakes in the day. If it's like... If it's venomous... 
probably going to be done in. I would say I would say probably above a deer though. Like their their speed is insane. Give me a stick though. Whoosh, done. Um, Starfist. Honestly, man, I didn't even know a Starfist was like how conscious is a Starfist really? Like to me, they are the perfect blend of a house plant and like a like a dumb rat. That's what I think of a Starfist. Okay. Yeah, no. Crocodiles. I'd beat a crocodile. It'd be close. Make no mistake. It'd be a close one. Okay, if it got the if it got the surprise attack on me, I'm getting done in. But at the same time, if I know where it's at, and if it's like, let's just say this. A five foot croc. All all this is all you need to give me. The surprise attack, like the surprise advantage, and a rubber band or a zip tie. I'm going to get that mouth done, and I'm going to find a sarp rock, and I'm going to put it right there, and I'm going to get it done. And I'm going to have a cool little decoration for the set afterwards. That is how I think you could be able to do a crocodile in. However, they get if they get a surprise attack on me, or they're massive, yeah, I ain't winning that. Yeah, I'm going to lose. I, I would put, Depending on the size of the crocodile or alligator, I'm going to put them down here. A horse. I'd lose. I would, I think, I think a zebra just because of how mean they are but i think it, i think it would be would it be close would i need something here i'm gonna put i'm gonna put the horse right there cheetah <sighs> dude cheetahs are scary though however is it done how like how much how many miles was it running because i'm gonna say it'd be close i'm gonna put a horse down here and i'm gonna put the cheetah up here It'd be close, but I'd lose. It depends on the circumstances. If I'm like three football fields away and it has to run to get me and it's already gassed, maybe. Maybe. I'm not going to elaborate too much further purely because my confidence is dwindling as we speak. Fucking gold fist. Not a, <laughs> a clown fist. I'm going to put him right there next to the bird. Okay? A cat. No, dude, cats are mean, dude. I think if we get a good few hits in, I think ultimately I'm winning that. Yeah. Octopus. Weird animal. But like, since when has an octopus killed somebody? Legitimately. Like maybe this is like American ignorance, but I've never heard of somebody getting done in by a fucking octopus. I would actually put an octopus probably in the same level as like an alpaca and a deer. Because, like, I feel like, dude, it, I think I would do bad things to an octopus and I would get some really good Susie out of it. I just I just don't respect a lot of the skill that they're going to bring me. A crab. Done. Absolute murder. Not, not even a question. I, I'm doing a crab in very easily. Like, anybody who says they wouldn't be able to beat a crab, yes, you can. Don't lose faith in, faith in yourself. Anybody? Yeah, no, no. I'm getting some good food out of that. A dog. Oh, man. I, I'm a huge dog person. But I think I... A golden retriever, though. Yeah, I might be able to do a golden retriever in. Like, if it's like, okay, brother, let's go. I might be able to do them in. I'm going to put the golden retriever. Would it be close? Okay, how about this? I'm going to put the dog down here, and I'm going to put the panda up here next to the crocodile. He still is a bear. So I'm going to put the Labrador Retriever right here. Peacock. That's a chicken. Peacock. They're so mean, dude. Like, they're so, like they are now a bird that I've looked at, even as a kid, that I've been like, I bet they're real nice. They look like the mean bird. Um, It would be close one, but I'd win. Yeah, I think it would be pretty close. I think he would get a good few hits in. Maybe he would go up here. But I think it would be more close. Yeah. I'd have, I just have to get that neck, snap that neck, man. And then it's done. Chicken. Done. I I'm get I am doing a chicken so dirty. I think I, I think a cat would put up more of a fight than some chickens do. Oh no, honestly. Some chickens wanna live. Seep. Okay. Okay. A seep it would be close. I think I would win. Because, like, let, let's be real here. What attacks is a seep bringing in to this? Like, let's be real here. 
It's gonna try to ram me with its no horns. Okay, good job, buddy. I'm gonna hit a sprawl, and I'm gonna go for a guillotine. No, 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 no. I'm gonna hit a sprawl, take the back, try to get it on its side, and if I can hold it down, and then, like, <sighs> lay some ground and pound me. I think a choke might be the best way to go with one of these. Because every time I see, like, Every time I see, like, an animal, and it has, like, a long nose, right, I feel like you can get underneath that easier than you would a person and get a pretty good um, rear naked choke. I'm going to put him there. I'll put him above a dog, actually. Above a dog and above a peacock. I think that's pretty fair. A goose. Wait, is that a goose or a swan? That's a swan. My bad. Dude, they're so mean. They're just, like, the nice geese, man. Do I lose to... I'm not getting done in. I refuse to have my bloodline ended by a fucking swan. I'm getting it done. I think they're meaner than a peacock, though. An owl. They might take my eyes out. So I'm gonna put it... Uh, like, if they get the surprise attack on me, they might be able to get it done. However, if I know they're coming, I'm just going... I'm just gonna... Whoosh, out the air. And then, it, like, hopefully I break their rib, break their wing... They're not flying anymore. Curb stop. Done. I'm, I'm glad I'm giving you guys the play-by-play -play here. Next up, a whale. What the fuck am I going to do against a whale? What am I doing? Like, legitimately. I ain't fighting a whale. I don't care. I know somebody's going to say, what do you eat? Plankton. Yeah, what am I going to do? What am I doing to a, 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 a massive whale? A seal. Nah, I'm getting a seal done, dude. I'm getting a seal done, man. I think it would be close, but I think I would win. I think I'm winning that. This isn't a leopard seal. This isn't one of those species. No, this is like... Oink, oink, oink. One of those guys. I think I'm getting it done. I think he can... I think he'd be able to get... I think he would hurt me. But at the same time, like... Yeah, I don't know. At the same time, I think I'd be able to get it done. A duck. I'm getting a duck done, dude. A duck is like the rapist bird, okay? The, I think they would they would be easier than a seep, a swan. I think they would actually be up there with a chicken in terms of difficulty. And if you guys have never had duck meat... Dude, I had duck wings down in uh, K um, Kentucky one time. Best wings I've ever had in my life. I've been trying to recreate it. So good. A cow. I would eventually find a way... If a cow had stats, I would say very high HB, very low attack capability. Yeah, no, they're like, they're just the tank build of the na nature world, okay? I'm gonna put them, um, I, I mean, it gets one good kick at, it's breaking my ribs and I'm going down for the count. I'm gonna, in 50-50 chance, I win or lose. I think that's pretty fair. And now, I introduce you to the Aqua Rapist, that being the Dolphin. I, I like. I, I'm I, I'm gonna be made into a victim, but it depends what type of victim, and I refuse to take it lying down. Would I lose? Nah, they're so mean. I'm a fifty-fifty. I win or lose. I think that's pretty fair. And now, we are officially entering the animals that I believe should have been on this tier list to begin with. We have ended out of here. This, these are all the animals that, if you look this up right now, are on it. Let's start with the goat. I am demolishing a goat, okay? If it's a screaming goat, bro, I'm just going to scare him and I'm going to curb stomp him. Done. Easy. Harpy Eagle. Fuck that. It'd be close, but I'm losing. No, no, no. no. I would fight him. But, like, dude, they have demon horns. I called it Lucifer's Parrot. Look at these fuckers. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. It'd be close, but I'm losing that. Roger the kangaroo. Unless I'm pulling off. Like, maybe. Maybe. Maybe that'll be my controversial pick of the card. That, his name's Roger, by the way. So, I'm either going to get a Charles Oliveira comeback, back take, rear naked choke strangle off the arm drag. Because they have a good cleanse. And they do, like, the, the amount of power that they're generating with those kicks is... Like, just insane. And yeah, no, if he, he's able to get me down, he's probably going to curb stop me. But, like, their hands are like this, dude. And if I can take its back, I'm able to get it done. And, like, looking at their feet, like, 
Their feet are built to get ankle locked and heel hooked. I might be able to cripple them. And their face, I feel like you can get that chin. Like, I think that's an easy chin to find in the animal kingdom. Very human looking. Ostrids. I'm getting fucked up by an ostrids. It's not... I'm not even getting a few hits in. It's coming in, <laughs> disemboweling me, and walking away like it just got done turning on the television. Um, Raccoon. Uh, yeah, no, I could... I, they're so cute. They're like the nicer version of a cat. Yeah, I said it. I hold, I hold raccoons above cats, okay? But I'm doing a cat dirt. No, not a cat. I'm doing a raccoon. I'm I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end the raccoon. Okay. I've 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 had to do it before. They they aren't that crazy, in terms of anything. I would I would do a raccoon dirty. I would I would have to end it for him. Next up, the ram. He would go and I would get um. It would be close, but I would lose. But I've seen enough videos of people being able to trick a ram into giving its back. They get down low. I feel like one good hit, yeah, you're done. But 50-50, yeah, 50-50. I think I might be I might be able to get it done against a ram. Next up, wild boar. If you guys don't know about these, these guys are some of the meanest things in the entirety of the North American continent. They're, they're like they're actually on a suit on site order in Texas right now. Um I, I yeah. Hand to hand I'm, I'm losing this. I don't even think... I'm going to say it'd be close. It'd be close, but I'm losing that. They have little legs. Hard to break little legs. They're mean. They're just mean animals, man. That's the devil's guinea pig right there. Um, A kawaka. I think that's what they're called. They're the little fuckers that throw their babies at predators. Uh... I'm probably going to drop kick them and send them into the moon. I'm going to put them up. Yeah, very easy. Yeah. It's going to throw its baby at me and I'm going to drop kick the parent and I'm going to adopt the baby. That's what I'm that's what I'm going to do. Uh black bear. Maybe. I would say black bear's up in 50/50. Nah, isn't in 50/50. Yeah, I would say 50/50 above a kangaroo. Because you can scare off a black bear. And they're like five foot six, dude. Like that, like they're like slightly taller than Tom Cruise. Granted, they have teeth and they are kind of scary looking, but like they get intimidated fairly easily. But they do know how to wrestle. Like they are pretty good at wrestling. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I respect the wrestling of the bear. I'm gonna put them in 50 50. I win or lose. I'm feeling delusional right now, and you can get me hyped up enough. Cougar, um,. They don't call me cougar bait for nothing, ayo. But um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna get torn, torn fucking shreds, man. I'm getting done dirty by that cougar. And finally, the people that handed the Australian military one of their biggest L's in recent memory, the emu. I would say an ostrich will get me done quicker. I'm gonna say it'd be close, but I think I'm losing it, dude. Big birds that look like Satan are probably gonna do me in. And overall, this was a pretty fun tier list to do. I I think I got this one right. Call me delusional in the comment section down below. This is the one that I'm probably going to get roasted for the most. But I think most people can agree. I think we can do in these animals together. I don't think I'm winning against these guys. They're just too big, too unorthodox. Yeah, they're doing me dirty. And I think with that out of the way, that's going to be it for the video. Now listen, I mostly cover MMA content. But about like once... Every couple weeks, I do a special type of tier list, special type of video. It was between this video and a tier list going over all the different types of warriors throughout history, like the samurai, like the Mongolian archers, and putting them in a tier list of just how badass I think they are. Maybe that'll be next month's. We'll see. Tell me what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the bell icon. It means the absolute most to me. I'm trying to get the 10K by June. So far, we're on track. And with that out of the way, adios, guys.